right. He tried to shoot me. Who did? <laughs> Jeremy Thorpe. Jeremy Thorpe did this. It was Jeremy Thorpe. Mr. Jeremy Thorpe, you're the youngest man to lead a British political party in more than a century. It is my duty to enrich our lives for generations to come. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Be careful now, because I'm not sure any boy's worth ending up in prison for. I can't. Why not? It's wrong. Well, that's not wrong. He's perfected the art of hiding in plain sight. I'm left on my own all day. What am I supposed to do? Well, maybe it's time you thought about moving on, Mormon. I'm going to tell you about my homosexual relations with Jeremy Thorpe. You will destroy me and the party and my marriage. I will be heard and I will be seen. There is only one way for us to survive. Norman Scott has got to die. Jeremy says kill him in America. So I thought Florida. Shoot him dead, chuck him in a swamp, gone. David, you don't really want to do this, do you? Oh my God, no. I'm so glad. It's bloody nuts. Seems like man can't trust his kind. Mr. Scott, you're in very great danger. He says someone wants to kill me. Why have you changed your shirt? He's very good looking. I'm arresting you for conspiracy to murder Norman Scott. This night at Thorpe's mother's was the start of a homosexual relationship. I can't believe they can say this on the BBC. I was rude. I was queer. Silence! I was myself. the story of a liar meeting a fantasist. But I'm not sure which one's which. To Her Majesty. Her Majesty. In a world that we can be what we say. <laughs>